The Jennifer Etu Medical Center is a full-service hospital built in memory of Jennifer Rematu Etu, who was called to glory on 26th January 2020. The medical center offers maternal and child health care services, outpatient department, and world-class diagnostic and sexual assault first responder services. The facility serves as the health project of the Jennifer Etu Foundation. It aims at providing equitable, affordable, and excellent health care services to women and children. Additionally, the hospital will run periodic health awareness and outreach programs, which will be an avenue to better serve patients with chronic illnesses, surgical needs, and acute medical concerns. The hospital is to be managed by the Catholic missionary. The medical center is set on a total land area of 40,000 square meters in Odu, Oboyaga, in the local government area of Koki State, Nigeria, with a beautifully designed exterior, perimeter fence, main gate, powerhouse, car park, and helipad. It has the new natal section, OPD, intensive care unit, emergency unit, six wards with four bed spaces in each of the wards, ophthalmology clinic, pharmacy, consulting rooms, a huge theater for surgical and gynecological procedures and labor delivery rooms. The hospital also has a diagnostic center fully equipped with a cervical cancer screening room and ultrasound scanning machines. The hospital has a reception and waiting area, manager's offices, a cafeteria, and a laundry station. Other facilities include two-bedroom housing for doctors, four self-contained flats for nurses, and studio apartments for staff. At Jennifer Etu Medical Center, we think of our medical work as a lustrous screen for evangelism upon which we project for all to see the life, the love, the mercy, and the salvation of our Lord. Leaning on the religious backdrop and tenets of the foundation, a 100 to 120 capacity chapel is cited in the hospital for the spiritual edification of the staff and patients of the hospital that are able to come seek the face of God or desire to offer Him praise and worship. It is worthy to note that a detached section of the facility will be dedicated to skill acquisition and soft skill training aimed at economically empowering women and girls with relevant skills and entrepreneurship programs for their livelihood.